What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Mom Sucus Gaming and Call of Duty just announced the new Season 3 Laurel update which includes a lot of awesome content such as a new camo event, 3 new weapons and plenty plenty more. And if you guys are excited for the Season 3 Laurel update make sure to see for the like button, 15 Call of Duty make sure to subscribe, 10 notification bell and join the notification squad, without further ado let's get right into it. Let's start off with the most important piece of information for Season 3 and that is when is Season 3 releasing, well Season 3 will be releasing a week from now on May 10th. Now that we know when Season 3 is releasing let's move on and talk about the three new weapons. Our first weapon is going to be the FTAC Siege or as we know it as the Tech 9. The description says the FTAC Siege is a highly customizable fully automatic machine pistol with a full suite of exciting new attachments. And here is the important part because it says while it cannot be dual wielded like other side arms yet. So basically when it launches we cannot dual wield it however sometime down the line in a future update we will be allowed to dual wield the Tech 9. In order to unlock the FTAC Siege there is a weapon challenge and that is get 50 side arm hip fire kills using a pistol. We move on to our second weapon and I can already guarantee you this is gonna be the meta from here on out until the end of Modern Warfare 2 and that is gonna be the GS Magna aka a fully automatic Desert Eagle. Yes you heard that right a fully automatic Desert Eagle and here is the best part you can actually akimbo it as well. Yes absolutely absolutely crazy what on earth are Infinity War thinking about. This is gonna absolutely ruin multiplayer especially shipment. I mean just imagine an akimbo fully automatic Desert Eagle on shipment that is a recipe for disaster. In order to unlock the fully automatic Desert Eagle you need to get 30 headshot kills using the normal desert eagle. For our third and final weapon to be released in season 3 load update is gonna be none other than the shuriken or as they call it as the throwing star. Of course we already knew about this in season 2 but for whatever reason it did not release in multiplayer until now and they are finally making their way to mono effect 2 multiplayer in season 3 loaded update. Next up let's talk about the new operator that will be releasing in season 3 loaded update and it's gonna be none other than NBA superstar Kevin Durant. If you guys haven't seen yesterday's video we talked about this Call of Duty teased it and here it is it is 100% confirmed now, KD will be available in a special limited time store bundle that will of course include Kevin Durant as an operator, alongside two weapon blueprints, an assault rifle and a sniper, and also a finishing move, weapon charm, loading screen, sticker and an animated emblem. Let's move on and talk about the final remaining map that will be releasing in season 3 load update and that's gonna be none other than Alboron Hatchery. This map should look very very familiar especially if you've played the Modern Warfare 2 campaign. The mission all glid up 2.0 where you play as Gaz alongside Captain Price. Well this map Alboron Hatchery is the section from that mission made into a 6v6 multiplayer map. Alongside the new map multiplayer will also be getting Raid Episode 3. Of course a continuation from Episode 2 and if I'm being honest with you guys I am super super excited to see what happens next. The blog says that Gaz and Laswell will provide exfil while Price, Farah and Alex must push deep into the Soviet base descending into a massive pit where they will navigate all train tunnels and electrically charged waters oh snap like I said I am super excited to see what happens next and of course once you complete raid episode 3 you will unlock Alex as a playable operator. Also for multiplayer you will be getting a new spec ops mission defender comes to Havid port I mean how long has it been now 7 months we have not gotten a new spec ops mission since launch that is absolutely absolutely ridiculous. Next up let's talk about the new season 3 loaded trophy hunt camo challenge event it's gonna be very very similar to how the camo challenge from last season worked basically you have 10 weapon categories every time you complete a challenge for that weapon category you will unlock a camouflage for every weapon in that weapon category for example for assault rifles you have to get 250 kills you only have to do that for one assault rifle and you will unlock the camo for every other single assault rifle so here are the challenges for each of the 10 weapon categories like I already mentioned assault rifles is get 250 kills for battle rifles you have to get 30 headshot kills for SMGs you have to get 3 kills without dying 30 times, for shotguns you have to get 30 hip fire kills, for LMGs you have to get 50 operator kills while mounted, that's gonna be annoying, for marksman rifles get 25 long shot kills, for sniper rifles get 30 long shot kills, for side arms get 50 kills, for launchers get 40 kills and finally for melee get 30 kills from behind. And once you complete the challenges for all the weapon categories then you will unlock another exclusive camo for this event. So there are 2 camos that you can unlock by completing this challenge event and also it is worth mentioning that this event will be available to compete in Warzone 2 and also in multiplayer and that is amazing. And to finish off the multiplayer side of things, you'll be getting two new game modes. First of all, it's gonna be Giant Infection, and just as the name suggests, this is gonna be your normal infected, but instead of being played on 6v6 maps, with Giant Infection, it will be played on the Grand War maps. This should make for some awesome, awesome moments and gameplays. I'm super excited for that. And for our second and final game mode, it's gonna be Face Off 3v3. Of course, Face Off was first introduced in 2011 with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Face Off 3v3 is gonna be just like a normal multiplayer match, but 3v3 instead of 6v6. 
in terms of the multiplayer side of things that would do it now let's move on to warzone 2 and dmz first of all for warzone 2 there'll be new features now we already know about these features because we talked about them when season 3 was first revealed the first new feature is going to be perk packages basically you can discover preset perk packages in supply boxes and at buy stations that you can use in warzone matches absolutely amazing also we'll be seeing the return of the deployable buy stations they are absolutely amazing and finally you'll be getting the gulag entry kit which basically will give you a second chance to re-enter the gulag and fight for your survival again even if you already fought your way out of the gulag once before you will get a second chance alongside all of that we'll also be getting the much anticipated warzone ranked play now just keep in mind when it launches in season 3 loaded update it will be in the beta stage first warzone ranked play will play pretty much the same as the multiplayer ranked play you will start at the bronze rank and continue climbing through the ranks through winning matches earning kills getting assists and also placing high in each warzone match like i said you will start at the bronze rank then move up to silver then move up to gold then platinum then diamond then crimson then iridescent and the final rank is going to be the top 250 and finally for warzone 2 it's just going to be a reminder that plunder is back in warzone 2 plunder is absolutely amazing if you just want to play some warzone 2 have fun explore the map do easter eggs and pretty much do whatever you want as you have infinite respawns if i say so myself plunder is definitely a very fun game mode in terms of warzone 2 that would do it now let's move on to dmz the very first thing is we'll be getting a new dmz experience called the koshay complex the block says somewhere in al Mazra, an underground koshay complex is brewing something that could shift the entire dmz as we know it operators must find a way to locate one of multiple entrances to this subterranean bunker complex open it and redact it uh oh be proactive in adding illumination to your hardware flashlights might be needed as you venture further into this redacted secure the nvgs once you've reconnoitred the redacted expecting some of the toughest redacted outside of building 21 okay if i say so myself this is really really exciting we have way too many redacted what could they mean we're not sure but we don't have long to find out only about a week's time all right if i'm being honest with you guys i am excited for season 3 load update anytime we get new content is a really exciting time especially in a game where we barely get any content so yeah i'm excited for season 3 load update i cannot wait to try the new weapons the new map and as always everything will be showcased right here on this channel so make sure you're staying tuned believe me you don't want to miss anything and with all that being said thank you guys for watching this video if you are excited for the season 3 loaded update make sure to see for the like button for everything call of duty make sure to subscribe turn on notification bell and join the notification squad and i'll catch you guys later